Okay, so we have ignition inside the compartment. At this point, the flames are going to be about 125 to 150 degrees in temperature, and you will see the fire start to grow. It's in the corner of the room, so the heat is going to rise and hit the corner of the room and start to spread throughout the compartment. So now we already have activation of our smoke detector, and you can see the smoke level starting to drop. Now all the smoke that you see within the compartment will become fuel to the fire once that smoke reaches its ignition temperature. As the fire grows in intensity, the smoke will start to bank down and also the heat within the room will start to bank down and combustibles nearby will start to ignite. So at the ceiling temperature right now, we're probably between 700 and 900 degrees. So the survivability of the compartment lowers for every second the fire grows. You see the smoke is starting to turn a grayish brown or almost black. A lot of the materials that we use in our homes today are made of polystyrene or petroleum based in nature. So it'll create a dark, acrid smoke and it, will, it is much worse than a typical campfire or just Class A combustible such as wooden paper. Now, with any luck, like our tree now, all the dry components of the tree or the dry part of the tree has burned. Um, and really slow down the flame and heat production. However, we still have a couch that's on fire. So you'll see the visibility will start to decrease very quickly once the couch starts to grow in intensity with the fire. good thing to keep in mind is when you call 911, if you're home and, and a fire begins or starts and you call 911, the 911 dispatcher has about one minute to process your call and notify the appropriate response agency. The fire department, whether it's on the installation or Clarksville or Hopkinsville or Oak Grove or some of the volunteer communities, have about one minute to get dressed out and start to make their response. Typical response time is anywhere from three to seven minutes. So if we're keeping a, a watch, we're about, what, five, six minutes in? Now as the heat builds inside the compartment, it'll reach the ceiling level and it'll start to push the heat down 
and other combustibles in the compartment will ignite. And before long, the heat banks all the way down and the carpet and the entire compartment catches on fire and we call that a flashover. So the temperatures inside the compartment right now are about 1100 to 1500 degrees and we'll get it almost 2000 degrees. Right now, our two firefighter candidates will extinguish the fire.